All right, we just got done with Tony's doctor's visit. I'm back in Austin, FYI. Um, first things first, good news. Tony's A1C is down to six. It was over 14, and so we're very happy about that. I had a good time. This is part two of the vlog, but I wanted to start off with some apologies. One, Jen Armstrong, one of my subscribers and members, really great person. We were going to meet up before she left out of town because we overlapped for just a little bit as I arrived. I texted her and then I put the phone in my pocket and then I never heard back. And then I realized a day later it never sent it. Well, I didn't, wasn't on the network or something. So, Jen, I already told you I'm sorry and I'm going to make it up to you threefold now. Um, but I'm publicly shaming myself. I would also like to apologize to Good Stu because he... And I missed each other by a day. There's absolutely nothing I could do to control that. But I still feel bad because I would have loved to have meet up with good Stu. And finally, Kathy Grant Spooky Peg. I would have really loved to have met her. Um, but it seemed that we were always in the opposite sides of the strip. Uh, the whole trip. And she did try. She told me when she was going to MGM Grand. I watched her vlog. I'll put her... YouTube channel on the screen. She is the, the pro. Her signature move is portrait video vlogging. Give it a try because she is absolutely great energy and I love her. So I apologize, Kathy. We could have gone to MGM, but I was so tired. It was so late and it was so far and so windy. And I met at myself for that. And then she did say she was in the area the last day we were there, but I was asleep when she texted. And when I got up, she was gone. So my bad. Thank you to everybody that's watching. Please subscribe. This is going to be a shorter vlog than yesterday, but I didn't want to split it up because it would have otherwise been over an hour. I know some of y'all love those, but I asked Ryan and he said I needed to do two vlogs. So we're doing this for Ryan. If you hate it, blame Zaddy Vegas. And now the vlog, which starts with a conference call for my consulting. <laughs> okay, bye. Love you, bye. Good morning. It's Tuesday, April 4th. Had a work call and uh, spent an hour and the technology failed on their end. And so I'm going to have to, it was a recording, I have to re-record. It's funny, they're like, you're really natural about like editing as you go along. Like if you mess up, I just would repeat the thing I said in the same tenor. Anyway. Now I'm going for coffee. Okay, bye. So we went to Mirage Rock. I had free play. Check your accounts. Make sure they're aligned. I had to do a little work. It was on an old email address, but I had 25 bucks. It's clean. The service was great. Drink service seemed to be coming around a lot. Security was nice to me. New games. I'm not hating it. Looks like they're trying. And now we're going to take the tram to Treasure Island. It's Tuesday. I think I said that already. Okay, hey, bye. Nope, it only goes to these two places. Which is weird that there would be true passengers. Why? Which is weird that there would be true passengers. Well, we live and we learn.
got this bonus, so... We like blue. We like blue. Yay! 50 bucks. Thank you. Word win. Winning. Thanks. Keep it up. Alright, that's all. I had a bourbon and diet. It was delicious. Okay, bye. I haven't been vlogging much. I got some B-roll. You saw it. Mirage. Hard Rock. Mirage Rock. They're trying. It was clean. They moved some stuff around in the slot floor. New games. The drink service was frequent. Even though we didn't have drinks, we got asked about five times. Security everywhere. Just kind of standing, watching over things. One of them said good morning to us. Also, check your accounts. Mine was not aligned to the right email. I got it fixed via chat on their website. And a day later, I got $25 in free play for I didn't do anything. So uh, they just sent it to me, I guess, for being a legacy member from MGM. So check it out. I kind of like what they're doing in terms of service and the, the effort. And we went to win. I am down from win $28. That's not bad. So we had a good time there for about almost three hours and now we're gonna go back to proper eats and have an early dinner late lunch all right last full day Let's see if we can get into some she nanigans or hananigans you choose all right drew and i are i don't know what we're doing we said we're gonna go be weird and we're playing a slot machine but house of the dead scarlet dawn on reels betting a dollar twenty we got eight free games and Drew's gonna start it now. I'm gonna end up stand. having to stand up. Ready? Yep. I'm gonna stand up now. We need the thing to make it bigger. That didn't do it. We need the arrow. There we go. Do the thing now. Oh, free game. Get it, zombie. Yeah. Now do the other thing. More things. Alright. Do the thing! Yes! Now bets! There we go. Hey, we're winning! Do it again. Grow some more. Make me stand back further. Oh, so many rats! There we go! Oh, yay us. We might have to go buy a bonus. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we get more moons, we get more spins. All right, hit it. Oh, never mind. Yes, bats. Hit it, Drew. Yep. Do it. Do the thing. Rats. Yeah. Oh. Come on, give us a moon. Moon, yay, bo, yay, one more. Oh, we got two spins. Yeah, yay, more moons. Oh god, I'm like far away. Come on, big win. Go, oh, yay. Come on, wild expandy dude. Rats. We do want more moons, right? Yeah, moons. Where's the dude? Oh. Hey, not bad. 54, 22. Yeah. Do the thing. That thing. Oh, that's the thing. Yeah, all right, hit it. Oh, you probably want to hear the music. Wee! 
All right, drop it. And drop it. Whoa. Hey, we're up. We raised our bets and we got the winning cash feature. I'll go first. Damn it. Oh, we had to get free, okay. 1482. Yay! All right, it's story time. Drew and I went downstairs and gambled. It's 10.06 on Tuesday and it's our last night. Kind of waiting for Heather and Eddie and Chris and Jolene. But I feel like they're going to be drunk in an alley somewhere. So do Vegas. It's fine. We're good. Drew and I made a roadie, a screwdriver with Belvedere. And then we had a couple of drinks. And then Drew really needed potato salad. Did you? It was delicious. That's right. And so uh, I got down to 32 cents of what I had left, stuck it in Genghis Khan and did a save me spin on 50 cents and hit for $9.50 and then got the ball bonus and got up to $24. Then I went to Nichols because the drinks we talked about uh, and got it up to 52 and then played some Mustang Fortune, got a bonus and eventually came back to the room where we are now and have 30 bucks but that's not the story the story is in the middle of all of that i decided i wanted to play carnival cow it's a coin combo game and we sat there for somewhere between five and ten minutes is that accurate drew I'd say so. there was a card in the machine but no money in it so i took the card out set it on the machine next to me this drunk french guy comes by after we've been playing there for a while and it was incoherent and was like reaching at my machine and trying to get my card and saying stuff to Drew. And he touched you. A lot. He touched Drew a lot. And, I mean, if he was cute, you can touch all you want. But <laughs> he was. And he was clearly drunk and incoherent. And Drew said, like, don't touch me. You don't, or you don't need to touch me. Um, did you call him odd? Weird. You called him weird. You said that's weird. And he was all like bumbling and he again tried to reach for my card in the machine. I said, that's not your card. I said, I set it over here. And Drew's like, just get up and get it. So I got it for him. I said, is that you? And he looked at me like a little annoyed. And I'm like, here's your card. He's like, well, I was playing that. I'm like, how long ago? God, I'm like, you're not playing it if there's no money in the machine. What you did is you forgot your card. Anyway, so we revenge played Carnival Cow until we got two of the pots to pop. And, um earned back 30 of the $40 I put in. But he was clearly waiting for us to leave the machine because those were his full pots. Ce n'est pas vrai. That's not true. You walked away. And I said it in French. Fuck you. Okay, bye. Love you. Closing it up Wednesday, April 5th. It's about 10 15 a.m., and we're heading to the airport at 11. I did not meet up with all the Brits. Where's my hand? Uh, again, it wasn't really ever the intention, just kind of lined up that they were all here and uh, Heather and Eddie born to Vegas. But 
my priority was to spend time with my friend. We did. We had a good time. Nice and relaxing budget trip. And I was fortunate to see Simon. I really did want to see Simon. Um, so I'm glad he came over. But unlike when I was hunting Brits before, I didn't go try to meet anyone or look for anyone. I uh, really wanted to try to go meet up with Kathy Grant. We were so tired when she was at MGM and we could have done that. And then she came this morning into the area, but we weren't awake yet. <clears throat> Missed uh, Heather and Eddie and Chris and Jolene hangovers and hand pays because uh, they were doing a bar crawl. And I just wanted to stay here, so we went to Aria Cosmo. Um, yeah, just to, especially with the weather, it was so windy and cold. That didn't say relaxing to me, so anyway. Uh, also missed Matt Bates. So they all evaded me is the way I'm looking at it. Everyone avoided Danny, which is fine. Introvert. I'm gonna see you anyway. But we're all here for Vegas, so everyone that's still here after I'm gone, have a great time. And until then, win big and bye, bitches. Okay, bye. One more thing. I did a new series called Mission Road Trip, and I really enjoyed doing it. But I don't think a lot of y'all knew it was a vlog. It's a vlog with challenges and a road trip, and I want y'all to check it out. So I'm actually going to stick one of those card things here so that you can click on it and watch more of me. That's all. Like, subscribe, do the things. Okay, now bye for real. Wah!